Okay, well welcome to Montana. Uh, we're here with Grayson, Dustin. This is kind of unique, not a lot of people know this, but this part of the country has eastern wild turkeys. They're brought here in the 70s, mm -hmm. and these birds don't migrate either. They literally just live in the bottom of this floor of this giant valley here in undisclosed Montana. When we talk about hunting out west, usually you think about Marion's. In this hidden valley in Montana, you'll find Marion's further up the mountain and Eastern's in the valleys. And there's a small zone in between where you can find both. We're hunting very small chunks of private, tons of toms on it, and the farmer has asked us to get rid of these birds because they are messing everything up. I've never actually hung the Eastern's here, and we went around today and we listened to them. Uh, a lot of them sound like just like an Eastern. And there's a few of them where the Miriams on the mountains have come down and they're mixing up, so they're gonna have a little bit more of a laugh to them, but uh, we're gonna show you something that not really anybody's ever shown you before, the wild Eastern in undisclosed Montana. Oh, this isn't the front door. Oh man, this is what goes on every day. I have a key. Oh, oh my god! Look at that! No, it's a chicken. <laughs> I got you so good. Look at it run! Look at it run! I would say in plan B, I mean, if they don't come in the first 10 minutes, I'm into shooting that chicken. My lord, look at those toms. Oh, it's about to be a fight. How many did he say we could kill? Uh, that guy said many kegs if you got. Go ahead so and shoot got A little loophole. Slip in here. I'm gonna do some sweet calling and see if we can't uh, lay him out. Let's go. Let's get going. Jeez. Feels good to be back in the mountains. A bunch of girls are holding hands up there. <laughs> they just met the other day and they're just hitting it off. <laughs> Don't get skewered. That's a terrible bag. It's nothing like my Higdon Outdoors bag. Is that a hot fence? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> White tails everywhere. They're gonna screw us. No, this is where they're roosting, guys. There's feathers everywhere. I'm just showing off my new decoy to my friends. Look at them. They're working so hard. I'm so proud of them. Now, I'm gonna introduce you guys to my friend Bubbles. He's gonna be doing some work today. See if we can't kill three of these sons of guns. The guy said he wanted them gone. Tired of them, tearing up all of his stuff. They're coming, they're coming. Do you think it was past us or what do you think? Talking about the rain. I don't want to ruin the camera. We're trying to get out of here. We just started raining. Called in a bird and it didn't work out. I've got all the toms right below us, right where we need to get out. There's only one way out of here. So we're going to shoot our way out. Man, they're over a ledge right there. Oh, they're dirt, dirt. Never got them. Hey, I think they'll come in. It's just not much of an approach. No steak. Where the heck is the steak? We lost a steak for the decoy, so I'm not happy with any of this. Stupid. Make a steak. Redneck engineering. You know, we want to make sure it's still sturdy. This is a perfect example of hunting with boat brooks. This is how most of my hunts go. Okay, um, let's get everybody set up on their trees. Once you guys are set up, I'm gonna show them the decoy. I'm gonna start yelping at them and I'm gonna run back. Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> the stuff we do to hunt turkeys. What a decoy steak. Okay, yeah.
much. I'm getting pretty tired, but we're trucking, you know, we're trucking. We're, we're keeping on, we're keeping on, keeping on. These yard turkeys we got permission on yesterday are right here. Well, I mean, there's four toms and three jakes right here. Oh, that is an Eastern gobble if I've ever heard it. We got on them, guys. Let's get up here and let's kill these birds. Oh, man, look at him. Look at him. Here they come. Grace is going to slip around. He's going to set the decoy up where they can see him. We're going to get on these trees right here. That's good. Yeah. Face it away from them. Literally just gave them a show of a lifetime. Disclaimer, that is the stupidest way to kill a turkey, but we gave them every opportunity to come in. So we'll move down the road. We got some different toms scouted out. Yard turkeys, man. They can be smart. Bug the crap out of me. Okay. You know, I had a really tough day and we wanted to kick back and relax, but there's toms in the field below us. So I set up the strutter. Come here. Come look at this. Look at, look, at, look at this guy. We've got four toms down here below the below the hot tub. <gasps> okay, come here. Oh, look at him. Look at him. They're coming. Okay, he's strutting. He's no joke strutting. <laughs> oh, they're gobbling. They're gobbling. Okay. Hey, let's go, let's grab the cameras. Let's get, get let's get down there. Dustin, put your clothes on. Come on, put your clothes on. Dustin, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on. I need a towel. I need a towel. Okay, wait, oh, take a towel. Get in there, get your camel on. Do that, and he's gone again. He's running. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Residential turkey hunting. Not quite a mountain turkey, but unique one for sure. Hey, Dustin.
He just fell, he just fell. <laughs> you guys just quadrupled. You guys just quadrupled. <laughs> Let's go, boys. That's how you do it. Wow. I said, uh, Dustin. Let's just kill all of them. We have we have four tags. <laughs> Might as well. In our main order that we asked permission on yesterday, say kill all of them. <laughs> There's about 30 plus toms on this property. We're gonna use all our tags. We might as well do it all in one setting and not mess any more birds up. No one else can hunt this private property but us. So four toms get taken off this property and 26 plus are gonna live till next year. <gasps> Thank the Lord we had the true stutter today because that bird caught us and I turned it back on and, it, and he just kept coming. But no, that was a that was a good little volley, you know. It felt like duck hunting there. <laughs> Dustin, run around and go gather them up, would you? <laughs> back! Back! You know, they've been kicking our butt for last night and this morning, so I thought that we'd let them have it today. Dude, those were four nice. Those toms, were four dude. big toms, man. The decoys worked perfectly, didn't they? Oh, dude, they, they came running right in. They did awesome. They had no idea what was going on. Unbelievable. I can't believe that Step fourth on. one just stood there. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, <sighs> welcome to Montana. Welcome to Montana. Look Those at are the, all Easterns, too. <laughs> look at all Look of at them. the rope on that one, man. <laughs> I don't think that it happens very often when you kill all four. <laughs> Most places, you know, you don't have, we don't have opportunities like that. Look at those up. birds. Dude, Check dude. them out. Dude, did that one, that big one might have a double. Dude, that is a good bird. Beautiful. Good job, Dusty. Good job, <laughs> I said, okay, line the middle two up, yeah. and then let's get the next one. Yeah. Cool. We've been getting our teeth kicked in, you know. It's uh, We came in last night, we scouted the day before. I don't know how many toms are here. There are so many toms. We got down in here, got to a spot. I can't believe we even got here. They're out in the field about 50 yards over this crest. We had to get down in a hole, and the birds came up right here. First one came through the field, we called at them just in time, and then the other ones followed, and they came right into the decoy. I said, Dustin, in the middle. The two are lined up, let's kill them. We went, boom, rolled down the middle. And Dustin went, boom, shot the right one, and I threw another shell in my gun, went, boom, shot the left one. Wow, that's all I can say about this trip. That was unbelievable. I carry in a lot of stuff. I got cameras, three decoys, hands, tripods, all sorts of stuff. We made this decoy bag. It doesn't matter if you're walking 100 yards or six miles. Having everything consolidated in a bag is so much easier. Get one and two. Oh yeah! Whew! Got her done. Yeah, Dusty. How do you like that handle, Grayson? Dude, the handle is a game changer. It's a no-brainer. I never was too great with scissors, but my third grade teacher, look at me now. Picasso here, scissors. This is a simple recipe. Anybody can do it. Essentially chicken strips but with turkey nuggets. I'm just gonna throw a Cajun seasoning on it, a little hot sauce. So I'm cutting them up real thin, real small, so I can cook them fast. Today I'm using canola oil, and some days I'll actually use Parmesan cheese to uh, bread them, but today it's panko breadcrumbs. This is about as feel to the table as it gets. I mean, you know, for me, it's a good feeling to go and know where your food comes from. Um, I eat plenty of Taco Bell, but I can't get enough turkey meat. And if you've ever been to turkey camp with me, this is what it looks like. I cook, I cook the turkey the second we kill it, and I really enjoy that. I think it's a cool experience for everybody. I get to share it with people, and today I get to share it with some of my good friends and one of the most beautiful places on the planet. So, I'm gonna keep cutting this stuff up, and we're gonna eat good tonight. If you smell this stuff, you'll sneeze. This is happiness. You 
do not cook this stuff very long, I'm telling you. Turkey is a gamey meat. With any gamey meat, unless you're cooking it in a crock pot, you're gonna wanna get it on and off as fast as you can, where it's still safe, obviously. But I definitely watched Bear Grylls eat a bird one time. He didn't even cook it. So, I don't know. Okay guys, dear Heavenly Father, we uh, we really appreciate everything you do for us and appreciate you keeping us safe getting here. I appreciate you uh, introducing me to such an amazing friends, you know, I can't, uh, I can't thank you enough and can't thank you enough for an amazing day of hunting and I pray that you uh, bless us tomorrow and bless us on our travels home and bless this food. So, thank you for everything you've given us and uh, Pray that we have another amazing day tomorrow. In God's name we pray. Let's eat some food, guys.